1970 Volkswagen Convertible, Restoration Number 2, Clip 37B, Interior Installation, January 2012. Interior Installation, Continued from Clip 37A. The new carpet set came with the 10 pieces as shown. I placed the right front rocker panel in place and located and cut the gas door knob hole. Then I located the speaker hole and cut it and sprayed adhesive around the edge to minimize unraveling. A few views of the carpet installed. While installing the carpet, I connected the front speaker wire. The small connector with black wire is negative and the large connector with black and white wire is positive. Then I installed the front speaker face plate. Finally, the front speaker cover was installed. Then I installed the front seat. Work on this section approximately six hours. Door panels. The new door panel that I purchased from Mid-America did not have the ashtray insert on the right rear panel as the original. So I had to take the old ashtray out and install it in the new panel. First, remove the ashtray from the old panel by depressing the catch as shown. Then from the rear of the old panel, bend up the clips on the ashtray case. Push the ashtray case out of the panel. Old panel shown from the rear with the ashtray case removed. The new panel came with a partial cutout of the ashtray location on the back side of the panel, so I only had a little cutting to complete the cutout with a razor blade knife. The rear side of the new panel shown with the cutout removed. The sharp razor blade cut an X in the vinyl opening. Spray glue on the cutout and the back of the panel as shown. Clean up the ashtray case and ashtray with chrome polish. Fold over the surface covering as shown and press down so it will stick to the adhesives. Then add four staples as shown. Put the ashtray case into the cutout from the front side. Bend over the clip with a flathead screwdriver as shown. Add the new ashtray to the case. The thicky clear plastic that I could find at local home improvement store was 6 mil. The vapor barrier that Volkswagen supply store would generally sell ranged from 10 to 14 mil thick. Roll out the vapor barrier and lay the door panel on the plastic and trace the outline and mark all opening and door handle. Cut the sheeting approximately 1 half to 5 8 inch smaller than the marking. Work on this section 3 hours. Front door panel. With a 13 millimeter wrench, remove the armrest connection from the back side of the old front door panels. Lift off the armrest and clean with warm soapy water and dry. Since the new panel had multi cutout holes for the armrest, use the old panel to mark the hole location on the new panel. Then remove the mark cutouts. Install the armrest on the new panel. The old armrest shown installed on the new front door panel. Install the door panel connection clip by inserting the clip into the hole and sliding the clip to the outside. Since the back side of the door panel are subject to getting wet, spray the back side with clear enamel paint to somewhat seal the back of the panel. Install the door panel rubber seal clip by pushing them into the holes. Door panel rubber seal shown installed. Note there are 23 seals for each front door panel and 9 seals for each rear panel. Work on this section 3 hours. Add a bead of black automotive silicone around the perimeter of the rear panel as shown and press the plastic vapor barrier in place. Press the rear quarter panel male clip into the rubber female seal clip. Repeat the procedure for the other quarter panel. Add a bead of black automotive silicone around the perimeter of the front door panel 
area as shown. Press the vapor bear into place. Press the door panel male clip into the rubber female seal clip. Repeat the procedure for the other door. M5 by .90 flathead screws add all four window cranes. Add the trim cover for the two door handles. All four interior panels are now installed. Replace the emergency flasher knob insert by using a small flathead screwdriver to pry out the old one. And with your finger push in the new insert. Also replace the washer knob insert, the two fresh air vent insert, and the headlight knob and insert. Work on this section four hours. Glue down the padding for the rear seat area and wings. Glue down the carpet for the rear seat area and wings. Clean up the hen covers and with white plastic paint, paint both rear top hen guards. And attach them in place. Rear seat area complete except for the rear seat. Install both rear seat kick plate under the rear seat support bar. Install padding on the back side of the rear seat support bar. Work on this section three hours. Temporary install the face plate on the radio to set the infinite mount shaft knob locations. Install the two infinite mount shaft at the proper location and plug each plug into the radio. These are the connection wired from the radio. This is the Retro Classic Model 1 radio for the Volkswagen Model C wiring diagram. A blow up of the ISO connectors. The speaker wires. Note the speaker wire chain color as the wire approaches the speakers. The radio is installed and the wires connected. The radio shown in place. Plug the USB connector into the back of the radio and install the USB connector access port under the dash as shown. Work on this section 8 hours. The back of the rear seat install. Install a heavy duty rubber sheet on the bottom of the rear seat bottom over the battery area. This is to keep from catching the car on fire should the seat depress on the battery cables. Now install the rear seat bottom. Install the front seat skirts. Install seat belt connector for the front seat. Install the seat belt connector shoulder harness for the front seat. Use a 17 millimeter socket and M12 by 1.25 bolts as shown. Install the rear seat seat belts. With stainless steel screws, install the two grab assist handle for the rear seat. The interior is now complete. Work on this section 6 hours. Work on this chapter 56 hours. Total hour to date 660. Stay tuned for progress reports.